What's up, fitness fam? Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be meal prep for fat loss part two. By the way, if you haven't seen part one, definitely go check that out. It will help you. Um, the recipes that we're going to show you today are going to help you and make your life so much more simple. Um, showing you how we get our protein in, how to get the meals in, um, so that you don't have to skip meals. You know, meal prepping is so crucial to help you with your fat loss journey. And I know that's why you're here is to, so that we can help you. And I say we, because I've got a very special guest today, my good friend, my workout partner. She's a culinary specialist, a nutrition specialist, Miss Jackie Bowles. Say hi. <laughs> She's a dear friend of mine, but a phenomenal chef. So you guys get a two for one today. So we can't wait to show you some of her favorite recipes. And by the way, if you need an awesome, awesome meal prep specialist and you're in the DFW area, send me a message. I'll put her information below as well, but send me a message on Instagram or here and I'll be glad to share her information. She's a phenomenal cook. Phenomenal. And thank you for having me today. Oh, you bet, girl. You bet. <laughs> All right. So let's get this party started. We have some amazing recipes to show you and some good breakfast recipes too. You ready? Let's do this. Okay, so first up, we're gonna show you how to make this amazing cloud bread. You would not believe how many things you can do with this cloud bread. You can make pizza with it. You can put um, jam on it and have it for breakfast. You would not believe. And you can make a lot of them at once and they keep in the fridge for a week. So let's get started. And Jackie's gonna show you how to make this. This is one of her favorite recipes, one of my favorite recipes, and I live off of this stuff. The, the possibilities with this are endless. Let's go. Okay, so first up with the egg whites, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pour a cup of egg whites. You can use real eggs or just use the liquid eggs, that's fine as well. And then you're gonna throw it in the blender. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throw it in that blender. So this is parchment paper, um, and then we'll show you how to put it in the oven and everything. Um, so this we've blended two times, but you're going to need to blend it two, three, four times to get it to that uh, meringue kind of look, okay? That's what we're after here. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like when it's done. All right, and then you're going to pour it onto that paper. So pour it right in the middle of the paper. Spread it out with a spatula. Okay, so this is what it should somewhat look like, like a cloud, okay? So you're just gonna spread it out over the um, paper that's sitting on you know, some sort of pan, flat pan, and then you're gonna throw it in the oven and you put the oven to 350 degrees, so my oven's heating up, it's almost there. Okay, so now you're gonna throw that mess in the oven and bake it for how long? I forget. About 10 to 12 minutes. Okay. So you're gonna bake it for 10 to 12 minutes and it's gonna come up all nice and fluffy. Okay, so now the cloud bread is done. So you're gonna pull it out. And um, again, I, I keep saying this, but definitely make a whole bunch at once, you know, make a whole batch. And that way you have it all ended up like this. You have a bunch of them that you can do different things with during the week. Okay, so here's the first recipe that you can make with this cloud bread, all right? Um, it is amazing. So you're going to take Hunt's uh, tomato, no salt added, okay, the whole can. And then two teaspoons of this, cut up a whole onion and some bay leaves, and you saute it. Um, for how long, Jackie? How long do you saute it for? For about 20 or 30 minutes, okay? And then it's going to look like this um, when it's finished. So that is homemade red sauce. It's less calories, less sodium. I highly recommend you make your own. So now we're gonna show you how to make pizza with the cloud bread. So you take the red sauce, put it on top of your cloud bread. Um, and again, I highly recommend that you make a whole bunch of cloud bread, cloud bread at once because it keeps in the fridge for a week. And you can use it not only for this pizza, but you can use it for many other recipes that we're going to show you today as well. Okay, so then you're gonna put your mozzarella on there. Just the serving size is fine. Um, you can do a little bit more. I didn't, generally don't eat a lot of cheese myself. Um, I do recommend if you are lactose intolerant to take digestive enzymes with it, that will help you. So that's what it looks like once you're done. This is so easy. And then you're gonna throw it in the air fryer. Let me show you. Okay, then you're gonna put the cloud bread. Remember, the cloud bread's already cooked, so you don't need to cook this for long, just enough to heat it up and melt the dang cheese. So set it on um, 400 is good for just a few minutes. Keep an eye on the cheese and then hit start. 
All right, so our pizza is done. Look at that. Now, like I said, you can add as much cheese as you want or whatever, but I wanna show you how crunchy this is. You see that? So it really is, um, does flake up to make a great crust for your pizza. And if you want, you can add meat to this, you know, add whatever you want. The um, possibilities are endless. So sometimes we'll add bison to it or a little bit of chicken, ground turkey, whatever you like. If you're one of those pineapple people that likes to add pineapple, then do it, sister. <laughs> okay, so you don't have to use this butter, but I kind of like it. Um, it's called, I can't believe it's not butter. Um, for butter, if you want kind of a butter flavor, this is one of the recipes that I love and I eat a lot. So just a few sprays is all you need. And then check out this jam. So this jam is called um, Good Good. I get it on Amazon, by the way. Anything that you see here, I have on my Amazon page. But check this out. It's only five calories. Um, no added sugar. It's just really good. Y'all don't mind me shaking. I had too much coffee. Um, so then you do the butter, and then we're going to show you with the jam, too. Okay, so for the jam... Um, I just do like a tablespoon and a half or two tablespoons. It's really all you need. Sometimes I'm just lazy and I'll just put it on the side and dip it <laughs> if you don't feel like spreading it. But this is a really easy breakfast, especially if you already have the cloud breads made. Um, by the way, the cloud bread has quite a bit of protein in it. It's about 18, 19 grams of protein, um, and it's only about 90 calories or so. Um, so yeah, and then add the jam and it's, you know, not much either. You can roll this up like a fruit roll up too. <laughs> Okay, another idea that I use for the cloud bread a lot is I mix it with devotion. So Jackie's going to do this real quick. So you take um, the scoop of devotion, pour it into something like this. You can even take this on the go with you. You don't need much water. So just like a splash of water. And then you're going to mix it around. A little bit more water. So this turns into a pudding, a really good pudding. If you get it too runny, you can add a little bit more devotion to it and then, um, cause you want the consistency kind of thick. Okay, so you see the consistency here? Lift up the spoon, baby, yes. So that's how the pudding is, it's so good. So what you do at that point is you can either put it on the cloud bread or you can just dip it. Now another thing I do um, is I take a rice cake, so check this out. Um, you can dip your rice cake, I actually love sweet and salty, so the white cheddar rice cakes, um, this is another snack idea. I do this a lot too. If you don't want to use the cloud bread, um, is you take the um, rice cake, break it in half, and then you dip it into your pudding. Oh, uh, y'all, it's so good. I can't even begin to tell you. So that is a great snack on the go too. So these are easy to take with you. Um, you can also, I snuck them into the movie theater, theater the other day. So then I had a sweet and salty snack at the movie theater because these are very low calorie. Um, and so is this. This is literally 110 calories for a scoop, if that. And these rice cakes are only about 45 calories or so. So, yeah, it's a great idea to do this if you're, you know, on the run or you can, you know, pack them, take them with you. Like I've always said, organization is key. Okay, so Jackie's never tried this devotion treat, y'all. So let's see what she thinks with the brownie pudding, with the um, saltier rice cake. Mm. right it's like that sweet and salty hits the spot <laughs> she's like give me more of this that's good mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so back to this pudding devotion also comes in other flavors so they have like mocha chip sweet potato pie which is like cinnamon and then they have angel food cake as well 20 grams of protein each packet and they do have these um, sample packets you can get so you can try it without having to buy a whole tub but believe me you're gonna want that tub it's good um, so you can make a pudding with any of these and just, you know, use your imagination. They also have um, flavorings that you can add like monster cookie that are st uh, flavored stevia and I absolutely love them. So check out their website. I also love, love, love their jumpstart juice. This is what I use for pre-workout and this is one is great for gut health called tranquility. So anyway, um, I never share anything with you guys. I don't take myself. This is good quality protein. That's why I use it and have used it for years. So I love devotion. It's my favorite. The owner of the company is a friend of mine. She cares about her ingredients and it's good stuff. All right, another great recipe that you can use for the cloud bread. You can also use it as a wrap. So I'm gonna show you a quick tuna recipe. These tuna packets are super handy. Grab some from the store. You can eat them on the run and don't knock it till you try it. But instead of mayonnaise, use 0% Faji Greek yogurt. Now I don't do dairy a lot because it bloats me 
but um, if you can, then I would recommend that you try the Faji uh, 0%. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is mix your tuna with a tablespoon of the Faji, all right, and then you're going to mix it around. Just stir it in real good. So as you can see, it does look like there's mayonnaise in there, but it's not. It's Faji yogurt, and there's way less calories and fat in Faji, way less. And plus, you're getting a little more protein, too. Okay, so now we're ready to, we're going to add the lettuce first, okay? And then you're going to take the tuna that you just mixed, and you're going to add it. And then take a few tomatoes if you can have, you know, it's just a few small tomatoes. And then you're going to fold it just like that. And roll that mess and look at that so there you go you could make more than more than one of these and just you know meal prep and make a whole bunch of them so now Jackie just cut it open look at that looks amazing yes winning okay so Jackie's got all this cloud bread and this is you know what we use it for so to store it in the fridge put something over it you're gonna put it in your drawer and it stores and keeps for a week. And like I said, you can use it for so many different things. So this is how I get through my day with a lot of cloud bread. I eat, I eat this at least twice a day. Okay, next recipe. So this is waffles, you guys. Amazing protein waffle. So um, we use buttery blend for this with devotion. Finally, a protein made to taste like butter, y'all, and it's good. And what Jackie does sometimes is she makes air fried chicken with panko. So I'm gonna have her talk about how she makes this real quick. So. Go ahead. Uh, all right, with the waffle, we take the buttery blend devotion, mix one fourth cup of egg whites. We put this in a waffle maker or pancakes, if you will. And then we take a little bit of egg whites, mix it with the panko Japanese style toasted breadcrumbs, and put this in the air fryer for about 25 minutes. And then we put it on top. We'll have chicken and waffles. We put this on top of the waffles, extra protein in the waffles and in the chicken. That looks awesome. It's amazing. So good. And then mm. we slather it with some sugar-free syrup. You can even use a little spray butter if you want. Yep. I love the butter. Me too. Put it on top. If you like hot, you can add a little bit of chili. It's amazing. Chicken and waffles, Southern style but low fat and also high protein. So yeah, y'all try this one. Now this is one of my very favorite recipes. This is spaghetti squash, ground turkey and rice, or you can just not have the rice and have the spaghetti squash. We're gonna show you how to make this. So always pick the ground turkey breast that's 99% lean, 1% fat, okay? And then you're gonna grab a big old yellow squash that looks like this and Jackie's going to show you how to make this. So with the spaghetti squash, you cut it in half, and then you're gonna get this, take a large spoon and just scoop out the insides. And it comes out fairly easy. See how it comes out? Mm-hmm. All right. Dump it in the sink. Dump it in the sink. Put it in the microwave for 18 to 20 minutes. And then it's gonna be very flaky. You take a fork and it just flakes apart just like this. So you just fork it out. Yeah, you just fork it out. All right, squash is done. 18 to 20 minutes in the microwave. We're gonna take our fork and it is basically just like it says. We flake it out and it looks just like spaghetti. That looks awesome. So good. It is so good and very low in calories. Yep. So the ground turkey, you just um, pan sear it on in the, you know, on a skillet or something. And then the rice, you can just steam it. Um, the red sauce, we showed how to make at the very beginning of this um, YouTube. So definitely make your own red sauce because it's much more healthy for you versus buying something that has oils in it or unnecessary sodium and calories. All right, next recipe is shrimp. Check this out. So Jackie grilled these shrimp. You can buy um, pre-cooked shrimp if that's easier for you. Um, you can saute them, you know, and just spray oil. Always use spray oil when you cook, never real oil because there's a lot less calories and fat in it. Some rice if you want, or you can use spaghetti squash again. Um, I love these water chestnuts. Um, you can make like a Asian medley here. 
And then here's the sauce options. You can do stir fry, orange ginger, teriyaki, or sweet chili. All are amazing. Now, these sauces have a lot of sugar alcohols in them, so be careful if you're sensitive to sugar alcohols. I recommend that you pour them in a different container and add water to it, and that will dilute all those sugar alcohols. That's what I do. So that's what I did here is I added a bunch of water to this because they come really thick. That way you don't have to, um, you know, get your stomach bloated from all the sugar alcohols when the flavor is actually really strong. So watering it down works really well. So this makes a good meal also. By the way, your portions and everything, if you're looking, if you're wondering, well, what, what do my portions need to be? That depends on how many times a day you eat. I've done a whole nother video on macros and portions. Definitely watch that one. It'll help you. So what mistake people do is they overdo their liquid calories. So let's talk about some salad dressings that are really low in calories that will help you. If you're a ranch fan, this one is so easy to make, y'all. The Faji 0% um, yogurt. Mix that with a little bit of water and then your ranch dips. So these are great. Um, there's hardly any calories in them. A little bit of sodium, but they're not too bad. Um, and then this honey mustard that I make is bomb. You've got to try this one. Um, it's zero calories, literally zero calories. You heard me right. Um, mustard, mix it with water and two tablespoons of monk fruit sugar. Now, the brand of monk fruit sugar that you choose makes a big difference. This one is called Purisure. There's no sugar alcohols in this whatsoever and no calories. So check this out. Zero calories, zero anything. It's amazing stuff. There's only one place I've found this sugar, and that's in, on Amazon. So I'll put the link below where to find that one. So make sure you check that out because it's concentrate. It tastes good. I put it in my coffee. I put it in my oatmeal. I put it in everything, and it's really, really good. So we're going to show you real quick how to make this ranch. All right, so this ranch is really pretty strong, so you don't need a lot. I would say a quarter of the packet. Start with that. And then you're gonna add a little bit of water and then some of your faji. So your faji, you don't need a lot either. I would just, you know, mix it until it tastes right to you. Same thing with the honey mustard. Just mix it until it tastes the way you want it. And by the way, this makes an amazing dip. So if you do it with no water, then you have a dip. So there's two different ways you can do this. Same thing with the mustard and monk fruit sugar. So yeah, just make it to where the consistency is how you want it. Because everybody's different, right? Some people like it saltier. Some people like it not so much. Um, so yeah, just taste it. See if it's the way you like it. And yeah, two very simple salad dressings that are very low in calories. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes our meal prep for fat loss video. I hope you enjoyed it. Many good recipes here that um, hopefully will help you in your everyday life. I want to take a moment to thank you, Miss Jackie, for coming today. Thank you for having me. It's been my pleasure and my joy. Seriously, she is an amazing cook, phenomenal. If you guys need anyone to do your meal prep and you're in the Dallas area, Get her number, I'm telling you. I will put it below in the um, description so that you can find it easily, but she is a phenomenal chef. She takes care of us every week because we're so busy and it makes such a big difference. So thank you guys again. Please like, subscribe, comment on my videos. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And as always, thanks for watching.